Hey ladies, this is Erica Johnston and welcome back to my channel. So over the past couple of years, I've had a lot of you ask me what shade of lipstick that I've been wearing in my videos. And sometimes I can tell you it's just one color, but other times I say, oh, I can't, you know, really tell you because I've put on a whole bunch of different shades and come up with something on my own. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you all the lip liners, glosses, and lipsticks that I use that look especially good against silver hair. So keep watching. To begin, I would like to preface that if you're new to my channel, that I'm not a makeup artist by any means. So I love playing with makeup, I've got lots of it, but I am not a professional. So if you are looking for a professional makeup artist, then I do suggest you go and see Nicole Johnson's videos because she's got lots of amazing ones on makeup. And last week I did a video about what season I am. So the colors that I'm showing you look good against winter skin tone. So for example, I look good in blue reds as opposed to orange reds. So another thing I want to say before I get started is that all of the products that I'm mentioning are drugstore products. So they're not overly expensive, I'm not going to break the budget if you end up getting a few of them. And I will post links to them from amazon.com. They're affiliate links, and I do receive a tiny little bit of commission if you decide to purchase any of these, okay? But these are ones that I wear, so I'm not being sponsored or anything like that for this video. So let's get started. I'm so excited. So to start off, I always put on a moisturizing lip protectant, and I use different ones, but right now I'm using Blistex Silk and Shine, and it's got SPF. 15. Daily, I do not wear dark colors. Like if I'm just running errands or running <laughs> or playing with the kids, that sort of thing, I just end up wearing a lip liner. And I did do a video about this, um, my sort of natural looking makeup that I wear for every day. And I'll post a link to that above. But this color is Demure by Annabelle. And it's just, it's what I'm wearing right now. You know, it doesn't have a lot of pop, but it just gives my lips a little bit of color. So I like that. And then a lot of you have mentioned to me in my videos that when I'm wearing nude colors, that I should be wearing brighter colors. And I think that's because I've got this bright light on me right now. And so it kind of washes me out a little bit on camera and it does look better to have a brighter color. But with that being said, I will show you my nude colors that I use first. So these are kind of fun to pair with other shades, right? If you want to make a different shade. So the funny thing is, I've always looked at Jennifer Lopez's lips. That sounds really creepy. <laughs> I've always noticed how she wears this nude lip and really dark eye. And her lips are just absolutely beautiful and they're glossy and they always look really good. And I thought, oh, I just, you know, I've tried all these nude colors and some look good, some don't, some are orangey. And I just thought, oh, I wish I could know what she wears. And I go shopping and I end up finding literally this one by L'Oreal. And it's, it's called Jennifer's Nude. So this is literally the color that she wears. And it's number 370. And it says a collection exclusive JLo. So this is the color here. It's just very soft. And I'll put it on. You can't, it's really no different than what I'm wearing right now. Okay, so that's just a nice nude, but it's really pretty. I really like it. Okay, start fresh. So this one is Demure and it's by Revlon. So this one has a little bit more of sort of a peachy color to it, as you can see. This one is the Demure and this one is the um, Jennifer Lopez one. So let's try the Demure. There we go. So you can see that this one, I don't know why I just kissed you, that's really creepy. Um, so you can see this one has more of like a kind of coral undertone to it. All right, so next, this one is by CoverGirl and it's a creamy based lipstick and it's called Champagne. This one's more of a beigey kind of color. And if you look, it lightens my lips up a little bit too. So I really like mixing this one with like dark, colors and reds and that sort of thing and it just makes it makes your lips pop so i do like this one but it's very very pale okay then i also have this one and i've mixed this color with lots of different purples and whatnot but i want to show it to you it's revlon kiss and it's a plumping lip cream 
So you just squeeze it out of the bottle like this, or the tube, I guess, and put it on. And this one has like a real champagne sort of look to it. I'm not crazy about it on its own, but paired with different dark colors, it looks really nice. Okay, this one I just purchased today and I'm so excited. I love this one. Oh my gosh, I love the smell. This one smells like Christmas. Honestly, it has like this real Christmassy smell to it, like cloves or something, I don't know. So if you don't like that smell, then you might not wanna get it. This is Rimmel and it's called Oh My Gloss Pump and it's the color is 1999, good year. So I'm gonna show you. This is a plumping gloss. Oh, and it feels so good and it kind of tingles a little bit when you put it on. Mm, and it smells like, like so good. So just so you know, this plumping one, it does tingle. So if you don't like that feeling, do not get this one. But if you want a little plump, how big are my lips getting right now? <laughs> okay, so that's really nice. I also have this on my gloss and this one is in clear color, but it doesn't look clear, does it? Because I've used it so much that it now has a nice little color to it. So that's really gross. But this is really nice if you just wanna add a clear color to the top of whatever shade you have. Okay, all right, let's move on to color. So let's get into kind of the more rosier sort of shades. This is one that I wear a lot in my videos. This is CoverGirl Melting Pout Gel Liquid Lipstick and it's in 105. And honestly, I wear this one quite a bit. Some of you tell me it's, my lips aren't dark enough when I wear this one, but I do really like this color. So, it's got kind of this pinky look to it. And it's just so pretty. I feel bad taking them off. I feel like I should go out, you know, and enjoy the color for a little while. I feel bad wiping it off like I'm wasting it. But anyway, ooh, look at that pretty. Look at that. Oh, God, that color's nice. I like that. Okay, another one that I wear a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot in my videos is this one by Annabelle and it's Big Show Matte, which I kind of like, so it doesn't have the glossy look to it. And this color is romantic. It's very, very beautiful. So it's creamy, creamy deliciousness. No, it's not, don't eat it. It's, it's not good to eat. Do, 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 do. Mm, look at that. Mm. And this one is so nice because it doesn't wear off quickly. So isn't that pretty? So nice. I wore a white shirt today so that my shirt wouldn't clash with any of the colors. All right, so that one is lovely. I'm so excited, this is so much fun. I think I bought this one because of the name. This one is Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick in Soft Silver Rose. So let's try it together. Oh, that's bad. That is not good. That is not a good color. Okay, don't buy this one. That's not good. I don't know why I bought, I think I wasn't able to see the color. That's just bad. You know what, we gotta show some bad ones. Actually, that's actually kind of good. That's odd. Maybe my lips are on fire, that's why. Ladies, do you like this color? Cause I, I can't tell. I don't know what I think about this color. So I need your, I need your advice in the comment section below, let me know. All right, so I bought this one today. This is Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayon. So that's kind of fun. And it's also called Run the World. Love it. I like buying colors sometimes for the name. Honestly, like this other one that I have by Vasanti, this one is called, this one is called Super Mom. And I bought it because it was called Super Mom. Luckily the color is good too. All right, so this is a crayon. I've never used one of these before. I've just used my trusty old lip liner. So this one is quite lovely. I did test it first before making this video, but again, this is kind of like that pinky look, you know, if you're going for that. Mm. And it feels so soft, not like a, a regular lip liner. This just feels like, I don't know, like literally you're just melting beautiful wax all over your lips. Look at that color, like how pretty is that? So that's gonna show up in a few more of my videos. I can't wait. So let's show you that Vasanti one that I just mentioned. Mom? Yes, honey? Are you still filming? Yeah. 
Hey buddy. I'm literally just funny that you just showed up. I'm literally doing one called Super Mom. This lipstick's called Super Mom. I love that he seriously just walked in when I was demonstrating a lip gloss called Super Mom. Just excited. That was Clive, by the way. If anybody was asking, that was my oldest son. It's very, it's very shimmery. Love it. Moving on, another new one that I just purchased today. And again, love the name. This is called Love Is On. So I'm thinking date night. This is Revlon Super Lustrous number 17. Ah, oh, like you look at that. It's just like, it's so lustrous. Mm. Okay. Lipstick does excite me and it's really funny because I don't really wear it that much. I mean, I do when I go out, which is never during COVID basically. And when I film, so you know what? I'm so excited to have all of these. Oh, look at that. Like this is just, you know what? I'm just gonna do the top and the bottom and just show you. It's like a little doll lip. Look at this. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> mm, this is very nice. I have to say this one definitely, this one feels even softer than the crayon. Was that one by Revlon too? No, that was Maybelline. This one's what, Revlon. Mm, this feels so good. <sighs> okay, look at this color. Ladies, this is just too much to handle. Okay, like I think you need to all run out and go buy this one. Too much, too much. Although I will say it's very, very glossy. It's not sticky by any means, but if you're going out and it's going to be windy, I don't think you'll like this one because if your hair gets on your lips, it'll feel really nasty and it might turn your hair red. Okay, so now we're getting into some purple shades. So purple is one of those tricky colors because it can kind of look a little Halloween-ish. And I did this video last week about colors and you all loved my lip color, and I didn't want to tell you what I did because it was like kind of scary, some of the colors, but I used this one and it was by All May and it's called Goddess Gloss. And I, I think I bought this one actually for like a costume party or something, but it's extremely purple and it's got a little bit of shimmer to it. So if I just wore this alone, it's quite, it's quite a frightening little shade. And I'm trying to remember what costume I wore this. Oh, I know what it was. It's when I dressed up like a mermaid, I think. I think I wore this one. So that's where my Revlon Kiss, whoops. That's where my Revlon Kiss plumping color came in and I mixed this one on top just a little bit. And it gave it like this really cool kind of pinky shimmery shade. So it's just a nice, a nice shade. Okay, so this red I've had for so long, it literally has a piece of tape on it. It's nasty. I really probably should just buy another one, but I'm like being seriously too cheap. This is called Are You Ready? I've talked about this one before. It's Maybelline's number 625, and it's very, very blue red, and it's gorgeous. So this one I have worn in a lot of my videos. So I'll just slap that on. It's it's very nice and thick and it stays on for a long time. That's, that's why I like it. And then what I do for red lipstick at home, cause you don't want to get COVID. So <laughs> I actually put my finger in my mouth like this and then I pull it out and you can see that I get this like ring of lipstick around my finger and that really helps keep it off of my teeth. So just a little fun, classy trick to show you. I don't know if anybody else already knows that, but whatever. So I've had that red lipstick, like I said, for so long and I just love it. So I've never bought another red. And then for Christmas this year, the boys bought us presents, my husband and I, just little gifts. And Everett, he bought me, <laughs> this is so sweet, he bought me red lipstick. So I wasn't sure how this lipstick would look on me because I thought maybe it was a bit orangey, but I think actually it's a true red. And you know, last week when I did my colors video, true red is actually a color that looks good on me. So I think it's by Katy Perry. 
It says Kate with a heart, so I think it's Katy Perry. But anyways, this is by Rimmel again, and it's it's pretty. Anyway, so this just is like a little different shade. And I do wear this sometimes in my videos just because Everett bought it for me and I just think that's really special, so. All right, so let me know in the comment section below your own favorite lip color that you like to wear if it's not already <laughs> covered in this array of, of colors. I hope that you ladies enjoyed this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. Until next week, bye for now. I always put on moisturizing, uh, what is this called? Holy frig, lip protectant, lip protectant, nice and big, oh yeah, that's, that's trope out. <laughs> contrast, is that the right word I'm looking for? No, it's not contrast, it's contrast, what is the word? When it's like the opposite, when you contrast, oh, no, contrast can be nice. Oh God, I can't remember the word. Clash, the word is clash. Honestly, I feel like I'm like 16 years old again and I've just kissed for like three hours straight. Oh my lips. Oh my gosh, my dog is dreaming right now.